morning everyone welcome to guru university I'm by names of mzunante wensi in ict department i'm here to introduce to you the academic management information system this is a system where we have the student biodata academic records and financial records so it is a simple way to navigate through for the first timers like freshers you will need a web browser which we know a web browser is basically used to navigate and access information over the world wide web and some examples of these web browsers we have google chrome like the one i have opened currently we have mozilla firefox we have Apple Safari for those who are using Mac operating system. We have Microsoft Edge. We have Opera. We have Brave. And so many more web browsers. Requirement number two, you will need an email address. This is the email address you used to apply at the process of application. Or, if it is not accessible, you might need to have an edited biodata where a new email address can be captured. This email address should be accessible and active in case of token and one-time password resets. Mm, lastly, maybe it might be a mobile number. You need to ensure that on the system you have your mobile number which is active with you as we know that during application some of you use your parents guardians name it but this time on acmis we need an active phone with a student and on that we are going to see how to navigate through by entering the URL here, which is my portal, simply starts from my portal.gu.sc.ug and you hit enter. It will immediately show you that it is a student portal. And when you open it, it will immediately take you to this window where you have to reset your password. It is for different universities. When you enter a different URL here, you will be directed to any other university, but make sure you are always on good university student portal. For this time, we are not going anywhere. We have to click the reset password. And when you have the reset password, most important is, according to what I have told you earlier, you will require an email. So the, here there is a notification saying a default or forgotten password. You enter the student number and the password reset token will be sent to your email or phone. So for example, you enter the student number 2300, sorry, 0100, maybe let's say 1525. When you enter the student number on that form, you click to request a token. Then they will immediately say a password reset code has been sent. Check your email, does that, that, and your phone. Most times they want us to bank on emails. Phones it might play, but let us look at emails. So now, in receiving the email, the email will come in in the inbox. This is the email you have received. Or sometimes it goes to another folder called the spam. So when you click out, you will find an email with the subject student portal reset password. And they will tell you it is Guru University. This is a no reply. Google University student portal. Then here it will be dear your name. From dear your name, you receive a request to reset the password. 
Google University Student Portal, use the access token below. It is a six digit figure. It is a six digit figure. You can observe it well. So this is the code we are going to enter on this part. This is the code. 5632555563255 Then next you enter your password you can say trainer for now and I will say trainer for now so you enter the password twice it is a new password then confirm a new password for your information, the password should be more than six digits. For example, if I'm below the characters required, I get a red notification here. Or in some instances, if the password does not match, you will also receive a notification in red format, saying that the password you entered here is not the same password you entered here. Then you hit reset password. Thank you.